That is too many people. Really, really forming it back in. So. Aloha! Welcome back to my channel. Booty here collecting Blue Eyes White Dragons and other rare cards. Today we have a package from Brooklyn, New York. Let's see what we got. Sorry if the lighting is a bit bright or harsh. The sun's setting right now, so the light is a bit dodgy around this time. Nice. I see some cardboard. Yeah, it's really in there. Okay. Paper tape. Nice. One, two, three. Alright, I think I saw the front of the card, so this should be the back. Ooh. No reveal necessary. Look at that. Look at this beauty. Beckett Grading Services. I think you guys know what's coming. Top left corner, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Look at that damage. All right, hope it's a blue eyes. Oh my God. I'm smiling so wide right now. Very cool. Yeah, there you have it. This is my first BGS lab. It took this long for me to come around, but yeah finally got my first bgs lab beckett logo love how it's kind of just floating right there it is cool that it has like all the, the subgrades though centering edges corner surface 2002 kaiba starter deck even though it should be starter deck kaiba unlimited blue eyes white dragon you are i assume that's ultra rare and yes yes you can laugh at me all you want it's only a 4.5 you know what i'm happy with a 4.5 vg to ex very good excellent plus and i don't know if that's a high or low cert number but i assume it's fairly low or fairly early i would have gladly taken a four or a five so this is my first like half grade and yeah it's i don't mind it let's look at the card itself pretty light in color and toning so um, i assume this might be a one of the later 2000s reprints unlimited stk 001 gold i it is really hard to see that Ivan Upis pop right off the bat i can instantly see that the card is in a sleeve a pretty big sleeve too it's really wide and it's kind of just encased in there i'm giving it a couple shakes obviously it's not moving around so that's a good thing i'm not sure if the the sleeve is just kind of clamped down between the the slabs when it's all like finally put together but yeah it definitely doesn't look like it's going to be moving anytime soon not sure what this is if you guys can see that can't tell if that's from the slab like hypersonically being welded together or what so not sure what that is looks pretty scratch resistant even though i'm starting to see like some stains i really can't tell if that's on the inside or the outside and i think that's pretty common with uh slabs collectors and, and graded collectors and for bgs like can you ever tell if it's from the outside of the slab or the inside of the slab or even the sleeve itself like you, you're never gonna know it's just so many layers it does feel very secure feels very sturdy i actually just shot this right after getting the sgc slab so yeah Hopefully once I get all three, the PSA slab as well, I'll do a little comparison for all. My original plan was to get all graded slabs in a grade of three, <laughs> but then it's just so hard to find any BGS slabs, especially low BGS slabs with uh, a, low, a low number in general. So the, the lowest one I could find was a 4.5, and this ran me a pretty penny too. This ran me like an expensive price compared to the other slabs. More on that in a later video. Yeah, uh, still my first impressions, feeling good. I'm liking the case. Feels very sturdy. Feels like high quality acrylic plastic. There's a Beckett detailing on the top of the case. And I see details on the bottom as well. If you guys can see that, it looks like a PAT. And then a, a follow, it's followed by a couple of numbers. I'm interested to see what fake slabs look like. Um, the fake PSA ones, BGS ones, even SGC, even though I've ne never heard of one of those. It's always important to stay safe out there, so it's better to just acknowledge that there are fakes out there and just be careful of them. Looking at the construction of this, it's really interesting too because it, it looks like the front of the case, where, the, where you can see the front of the card, is like the bigger piece of the case, almost like a tray. And then the back of the case, it's smaller and it's kind of just wedged in there but again these are all just first impressions first thoughts very cool i can't wait to do a comparison video of all the graded slabs so um yeah if you guys have any questions just please let me know and i'll try to keep an eye out for them and do my best to compare them so the centering 9.5 do you guys think the centering is 9.5 looks pretty good yeah edges six that maybe it could be a little higher the front doesn't really show it but the the back definitely does corners 4.5 ah, okay so okay so edges all around six that's fair corners 4.5 Ooh, that's pretty rough but i guess that's understandable especially with those lines right there and then surface Ooh, surface scored a four so definitely under a scan you should definitely be able to see some uh real damage 
Um, obviously, you can't see it, especially you definitely can't see it now with uh, it being sleeved and also slabbed. If I was an angry person who subbed this and expected a much higher grade, I would not be happy with the surface of four, especially you can't, especially if you can't see it post grading. But overall, happy I got my first BGS slab with the best card. Okay, a little bit about how I got this card. I won it through an auction, or technically a offer price. I was looking for a graded three for a long time, but again, this was the only one, and the only lowest one available with the SDK artwork. It was listed for $150, and there was no way I was paying that much. So I kept offering, I don't know, I wanna say, I kept lowballing. I'll be frank about it. They finally got back to me after a couple weeks, um, and then we finaled on $75. Yeah, $75 for this. I might get butchered by that price. And I love my raw cards. I mean, as you can clearly see, so I'm in no rush. So I'm gonna take my time and just check out each case and each slab before I decide if I'm gonna do bulk orders or bulk submissions. I think it was a fair price. I'll show some current market prices for some BGS cards on Blue Eyes White Dragons, and I'll also show some sold listings too. It's funny too, because BGS <laughs> uh, graded slabs, especially when they're graded like eight and lower, they're just so much cheaper than PSA. And I don't wanna say cheaper, I think it's just a better budget option. The case looks great. It's a good logo. They have a great reputation. Obviously, no grading company is perfect. I'm seriously considering getting as many Blue Eyes White Dragons as I can from as many different grading companies as I can. Um, let me know if that's a pretty cool idea. Um, but for now, yeah, I'm just happy with this first BGS Blue Eyes. And if you guys want to see more Blue Eyes White Dragons and other rare cards, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.